<sighs> anyway, that was. Oh yes, the unknown soldier. Now that I have introduced myself and I have said everything that needed to be said, we may now begin. It seems like that I can't postpone that fateful moment anymore. I must open that book. My heart cries blood. But wait, I just realized something. There is the cover. <laughs> still, even still, I can postpone that fateful moment where I actually have to open the book. Let's start talking about the cover of the Unknown Soldier and a war novel. They are both very well known in Finland. As a matter of fact, in Town Library of Hamelin, the cover of the Unknown Soldier is also the cover of the war novel genre. That's how well known it is. But what does it mean? Well, let's first start looking at the name. Shall we? The Unknown Soldier. Pretty simple. We don't know these soldiers, what they are doing in the front lines. Nothing much to say. The picture. Uh, a white soldier in a red background supports the title of the book. They are unknown. We don't know them. Red. Well, there is a war on. So there is lots of blood. Nothing special. The cover of the vulnerable meh yeah, nothing special either the name vulnerable it is the war novel a bit vague but still okay oh yes the cover black soldier in the red background same thing as the unknown soldiers cover nothing much to say except i like this cover a bit more why it seems a little more distant or menacing i don't know i just happen to like it a lot when the soldier is in black. Also, I have to make this politically totally incorrect joke here. One would think that the unknown soldier, since it has the white soldier in a red background, would think that it is the white man's version of the continuum war, and that the war novel is the black man's version. I know, I am funny. <laughs> anyway, I guess that there is no way for me to postpone that fateful moment anymore when I actually have to open the book, is there? I thought so. So now finally I shall open the book. And as soon as you have opened the book, you realize something. There is chapters. Nothing new on that, I mean, lots of books have chapters. But I would like to take a moment now to talk about how chapters are in this book. They simply are. There is no chapter names. It just says that it is the first chapter. Nothing against this. Others do whatever they want to do it. If they don't want to have chapter names, they don't. I'm not going to argue with the others. I'm just going to argue with that small percentage of the people who thinks that chapter names are spoiling. I like chapter names. They are good. They show you that the author cares about the book. And they never are that spoily. At least to me. I mean, it's not like chapter names are like this. Usually, they are just like names of the book. They sum up what the book is about. But there is just one thing that I never get in this whole book. The side chapters. You know them. Roman numeral. Nothing else. I don't know what the authors were thinking. It's just stupid. But to come back to those people who think that chapter names are spoiling. One can only imagine what those people are thinking all about the titles of the book. Hmm. Press a highlight. Oh, gee. Just thanks. Now I know the setting of this book. Forest Gump. Oh, gee. Thanks a lot. Now I know the name of the main character. Word according to Garp. Thanks. Just thanks a lot. Not only do I know the name of the main character, I also know what this book is about. Just awesome. Why do you even read this book any further? 
one can only match 